Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I am Justin, and today is a new day and a new video. Hey, so you may notice uh, watching our YouTube shorts or even some of our Instagram reels that we have uh, a different amp on hand. And I'm going to start us off with a little bit of an update. The Super Champ is gone. Now, the Super Champ X2 was a good amp. Uh, definitely for practice, low volumes, great amp. You could really drive it and get, get some really cool tones out of it. But uh, I just couldn't find the tone I was looking for. I've been kind of on this journey uh, looking for the tones and stuff that I want and at the price point that I wanted to spend. Uh, so we, uh, we took a little journey to our local music ground here in Fort Collins and returned it, essentially. We returned the speaker, everything, and uh, was like, well, while I'm here, I might as well re you know, kind of trade in some other gear. So as I was doing that, I happened to look over in their pile of, and I say pile of amplifiers, it's literally just a bunch of amplifiers stacked next to each other um, where I was looking. And there was a blonde uh, Fender, what is this, a Fender Deluxe Reverb. It's blonde. It's it's got the blonde front. It's kind of a creamish color. It may have been darker, but you know years have faded it, probably of sunlight. And it looks like people were gigging on it because it was a little dirty. But it is basically that. It's a deluxe reverb. Uh, the only thing it was missing was the foot pedal. And I have one. Uh, I'll kind of show it maybe in this video, or I'll go over it later. But I have I have a foot switch that does work with it because it was missing the foot switch. Um, so the blonde amplifier as I was looking at it I was like that is a very neat amplifier and you know I've been wanting one for a long time I had a Fender Twin for for a while and that was just too much amplifier for me I loved it but it was just too much to get it to do what I want it to do you'd have to crank the sucker and it was just just too loud um, worked great I took it to some gigs it worked great there um, but that's kind of you know the gist of that amp so anyways, I was like, you guys trade in my gear, test, do whatever you need to do. I'm going to play this amplifier. So they happened to have a Telecaster similar to mine hanging on the wall, pulled it off the wall, and I plugged into it, and it was it was kind of instantaneously the vibe and sound I was looking for. It's like, sweet. Um, so anyways, they traded it. I, I did have to spend a little bit of money uh, in the trade. I actually spent $6 on it, which <laughs> is kind of kind of comical. But, you know, there's tax involved. So anyways, I've been playing it for a few days now, and I still absolutely love this amplifier. Um, you're probably wondering, Justin, what is this amplifier? Uh, there are so many amplifier videos about the Deluxe Reverb. Uh, there's not so many about this particular amp that I have found, but uh, they're pretty much all the same, except for the, the blonde version has a Celestian... Uh, I think it's a G12 Neo, which is a creamback, as they're known. Uh, it's a little bit brighter sounding, but, you know, you kind of adjust your volume settings, and it sounds great. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there that I've been watching lately on how to set your settings to get different tonalities out of this amplifier. They've been used on so many different uh, s songs, tracks out there. That they're kind of a ubiquitous amplifier to have. Uh, always wanted to own one. Couldn't find one in the price range I wanted to the pay um i've seen these guys go for 1200 there's not the tone master which is a little bit cheaper but the tone master from what i understand is more of a digital hybrid amp where this is all tube now it's got 10 tubes in it um i think there's four 12 ax7s and two 12 at7s um that's for the preamp section and I, even the vibrato has a tube section. There is a tube rectifier in it. I could not tell you what that tube rectifier is off the top of my head. But then it's also power sections also done with three tubes that are uh, the 6V6s that are in every Fender amp out there. A little bit different than a 6L6, but still a lot of volume. Uh, it's a single 12. So as the twin is a 212, this is a single 12. Makes it much lighter to carry. It's not like, oh, I'm going to rip my arm off. Um, but it's a great amplifier. It's got that nice vintage look to it. Um, now, I've got it mic'd up here. If you've seen our videos, we have it mic'd up with the WH, 
uh, 14 from Warm Audio uh, going into one of our SSL 6 channels. That's kind of been our chain so far, but uh, you can get to do all sorts of sounds. So I'm gonna kind of show you, I have it set to eight right now on the volume on the vibrato side. Um, I kind of like using the vibrato side cause I have, you have a little more control. You've got the reverb and with the foot switch you can turn those things on and off. So here is our clean setting. <laughs> So that's a clean setting that I've got set. It's basically if you were to set it to like number three. Um, dot dials, the dials do go up to 10, so just FYI. Um, now that, that would be if I wanted to have like a really clean sound with a little bit of delay. So anyways, that's with a bit of effects on it. Um, I do love how this, how versatile this amp is. Um, now we get into more of like an overdriven sound and you can kind of hear as I turn the volume up, it gets a little more, hear a little more noise from the amplifier itself. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of the overdrive sounds you can get from it uh, in a nutshell. Uh, there's so many different tones. Um, this is by far one of my most favorite amplifier sounds. Um, they made all sorts of different versions. They had the silver face, the black face, the blonde, which is what we've got here. Um, you've got, there was even some ones that were done in red. Uh, very hard to find. Those are kind of like the 80s that they did them in. Um, yeah, each one has a slightly different tonality. This is a 65 as opposed to a 68. So you have a little more high end in the 65 than you do in the 68 from what I'm understanding. Uh, but that's kind of this amp in a nutshell. I could go round and rounds um, with it. For one, you know, I probably should show you the, the basically the vibrato in it. You can kind of hear it speed up a little bit. Get a little more intensity. Maybe slow it down a little bit. But then you kind of hear it shut off, and then you got just no reverb whatsoever. So it's got a lot of versatile versatility to it, a lot of different tones you can use, a lot of creative things that can be done, uh, especially when you're sitting in the studio and you just want to play with different sounds. You kind of got a lot. Now, you still get a little bit of that fender -y sound to it, but you push it hard. It overdrives and breaks up really well. Um, I have noticed, and I've watched a lot of videos on this, that the best sound is taking that bass knob and just cranking it all the way to one. So you just have it set to one. And then you kind of turn, you kind of play with your treble to find the sweet spot of your guitar, like the brightness of your guitar. And that's kind of like the best overdrive sound you can get. Um, I have it set to eight. I've seen guys set it to 10. I've seen them, you know, and just get, it just depends on what you do. Now we'll do the high gain stuff. Not so much. Well, maybe if you put some more drive, you know, drive pedals in front of it, but overall, it's a great amplifier. I can't highly recommend them enough. Uh, if you can find one at your local market somewhere that's not super expensive, I highly recommend grabbing one. Um, do you need a tube amp? Probably not, but there's so much fun to play with. Uh, but that's kind of all I got for today. Uh, if you've liked this video, hit the like. 
uh, if you liked our channel and the videos we've done so far, hit the subscribe. Everyone who has hit the, those buttons so far, we are super appreciated of it. And, you know, that's kind of it. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Go make some music.